Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to our channel. Today I'm gonna upgrade my Amiga 3000 with new Kickstarter. I got Kickstarter ROMs uh, 3.1. Basically we're going from 2.1 I believe to 3.1. It will give me some advantage from over uh, old uh, Kickstarter. And it will, especially since I'm already running on a compact flash, it will be nice. Anyway. If your Amiga never been opened or previous owner, for example, put all screws, pretty much you will have two screws in each side and then one more screw on the back. Okay guys, after when we remove the top cover, now we got lots of more screws to go. It's not like Amiga 500, 600, 1200. Of course, 500 plus, you open the top cover by removing the four, four screws or so, and you already can go reach it uh, Kickstarter. On Amiga 3000, the Kickstarter actually, not on this side, it's on another side under the subframe. Pretty much you have to tear it apart whole Amiga and let's continue it and then we need it depends which which side you started usually I started from back it doesn't matter you have to remove the tray for expansion slots because that's that's holding a subframe as well and here pretty much we have to remove it, do, uh, those two screws this guy and this guy this screw which holding a power supply otherwise you will not able to take it apart and then some screws we have to remove it up front Okay, after when we remove the screws, now we can disconnect it, uh, compact flash cut reader, and we can pull it out the whole assembly. You see, it's very convenient to use a compact flash card on uh, Amiga 3000 with Voodoo board. I mean, Voodoo, I said Voodoo. Uh, compact flash card, it's in the back, it's easy to swap it in case if you want to run it or experiment it with different uh, workbench. I mean, it, it, it's it's so convenient to have a car, unbelievable. Okay, then we're gonna move that uh, extension board. To remove that extension board, you have to go really easy. Don't yank it from one side really hard because you can de destroy it connectors or kind of you, you, you twist it and it will stuck. You have to just pull it from one side a little bit, from another, or try to pull it from center, but it's going to be much harder. Uh, then we remove it that plastic shell. Now we go from front. By the way, there is also, if your system still have hard drive, you will have to take it one screw, which hold in a hard drive assembly, and then slide it forward and lift it. And there is also one more screw over here. Like I said, it's not it's not as simple and easy as uh, uh, those uh, little guys, Amigas. By calling little guys, I'm talking those uh, all all in one. Yeah. Now we're removing our floppy drives with optional GoTech adapter I got here. And let's see. Looks like about we uh, we're almost about to lift it, but then also one more screw over here. Total all to all screws together, it's probably a dozen, maybe a little bit over a dozen screws. Okay, now we're good to go. Pretty much by lifting everything, make sure you disconnect it. I'm gonna show you and. 
or offline well. Pretty much. Oh, and that hard drive connect wire. Also, just push it, push it down. Pretty much right here. We're removing the subframe with uh, power supply, and now we got access to a uh, Kickstarter. And Kickstarter, especially on those on those guys, it's not as quite it's not kind of easy to pull it out. Let me bring the camera at a different angle. Okay, guys. Now. With a small screwdriver, we're gonna try it gently, raise it one end of a chip, one at a time, and then another side. This side is gonna be much difficult because it has that adapter. It has a higher, higher angle attack, I should say. There you go. And let me try this side also. But you have to be really careful. Working kind of try to work equally from both sides. Make sure don't bend. It will if you pull it one side really really uh, a lot, I mean really far, then those legs will get bent. And probably it's, it's not gonna break it from first time. But there you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put them back in the same order, kinda. And let's install it new chips. New chips, usually when they come, I mean, those legs kinda will be sprayed apart a little bit. You can try it fit and see if it, if it kinda align. I see some people try to align it and then with tiny screwdriver start pushing each leg into place. That's not really smart things to do what I can recommend it you just grab a chip and again stable or flat surface you just apply a little pressure to bend those legs kind of inside a little bit then it will it will fit much much better I mean much easier there you go just like that same thing we're gonna do with with the other one just apply it slightly pressure you can feel it if it moves just I mean very little amount uh, most of the time that that will that will do a trick there you go and just like that okay now we put it back in a reverse order okay then subframe I call it a subframe it's kind of looks like this connector I mean the cable I'm not really needed because since I'm not using a hard drive anymore uh, cable for floppy drives goes in then power connector connects to the main uh, motherboard and then the subframe goes back in the same place where it's supposed to be and now we can put our screws back together Especially, don't tighten this screw right away because you have two more screw alignment when you put floppy drives. And if you tighten this guy I mean, right away, then those two holes may not match, you will still have to loosen up. Okay. Now let's put that screw back, which holding a power supply. Then we can install it. This guy, a plastic protector. And make sure they go behind those connectors, because if they go in front of connector, then you will not be able to install it that splitter board. And then 
the splitter board, the ends have to be slided in those plastic. And go just like that. And push it. Push it, same thing. Just take your time. Don't push it really hard from one from one uh, stroke. Uh, I mean, probably that's gonna make any difference, but still, I mean, I will try to push it slowly from one side to another. Then um, we put in that expansion slot, adapter. I mean, to do that upgrade, you don't have to be rocket scientist, to be honest, I mean, it's quite simple, but also it's exciting. Then my Buddha card will go in a slot two, which not really matter which one, uh, one or two or three, I mean, well, I mean, four slots I got, it's just more convenient. And now I hook it up my adapters. On Amiga 3000, if you decided, oh, they usually come with one floppy drive. If you decided to go with second one, uh, by simply just plug it in, it will not do a trick. On the motherboard, you have to select the jumper. If it's uh, uh, with two floppies or single floppy configuration. And now we can put our cover back. Make sure all wires is not in the way and everything will slide back the way it's supposed to be. Because if you leave it wires sticking, so it may jam and, and it's gonna do some damage. Oh, by the way, I just forgot to plug it in my compact flash card either. Let's see if uh, uh, WHD loader is working. I game, especially on Amiga 3000, it's kind of cool. Yep, looks like everything should work, no problem. Some games it show a generic icon because it doesn't have uh, uh, the right icon. Allen Bread 2. Let Let's see if it's gonna run. I'm not sure if that's a game with AGA uh, chipset I have to use it. Wow, that's pretty good. Look at it guys. It's, it's, it's working on Amiga 3000. Maybe that, that game doesn't have AGA uh, support requirement. There you go. Well, I'm quite happy with uh, a Kickstarter 3.1, and like I said, uh, it, it can it can take uh, bigger than four gigs. Actually, four gigs, one a single partition, I believe. And now I got the card four gigs, uh, and 
everything like I said it's it's run the way it's supposed to be I'm not good with that game yeah let's see well guys that's pretty much kind of simple installation it's, it just required taking a lot of screws a lot of stuff apart that would actually make it even more fun to do upgrade on the Amiga 3000 because it's, it's more stuff to take in apart, putting back together in Wolf and that's what I like it. Well guys, I hope this video was enjoyable, helpful. If you guys did like it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will really appreciate it. Thank you.